you know, what's next for, for Simon Furman? Well, I mean, you know, I always want to be doing some comics and, if I can, some Transformers. But, you know, I'm also sort of, I've moved into TV animation, I'm doing some movie writing at the moment. So, you know, my work slate is pretty full. And really, you know, I wasn't particularly looking to take on a Transformers series at the moment, but 81 was just too, you know, good an opportunity to pass up. So, you know, I'm really happy I'm doing that. But, you know, by the time this is wrapped, I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So, you know, maybe in, even in the course of that, I'll do other Transformers work. You know, I've been doing some stuff for Million Publishing in Japan. And, you know, I'll carry on doing, you know, anything they want for their... Uh, uh, Generations magazine. So, you know, there'll probably be other bits of Transformers, but, you know, we're looking now at 2014 or something for the wrap up of this, which coincidentally is the 30th anniversary of Transformers. But, uh, you know, so I just think, you know, we'll see where we are then. I don't really know what the next bit of Transformers will be, if there will be, but, you know, certainly, you know, it's going to keep me busy for a few years, this. Yeah, no, I can talk about the TV animation, can't talk about the movie stuff, because that really is, you know, too sort of freshly minted and, uh, you know, we don't want to steal anybody else's thunder on that. But the TV animation work is for a show called The Matt Hatter Chronicles. That's Matt as in the kid's name, you know, rather than Mad Hatter. But, you know, he's a kid who, you know, he's kind of carrying the sort of legacy of his family who, you know, are the guardians of this portal into a place called the multiverse. And over the centuries, you know, or rather over the last sort of century, old movie villains have kind of leaked into this other dimension and become flesh and blood villains. So, you know, you've got, you know, you've got your kind of Dracula character and your werewolf and they're running around causing havoc in the multiverse. So because this is kind of this Hatter family's responsibility, they go in and fight these villains and, and bag them and clean up the multiverse. So Matt Hatter's this kid whose grandpa was the sort of current Hatter hero. And, you know, it kind of skips a generation to this sort of boy, Matt. And so suddenly he's cast into this and he's got sort of two travelling companions, Roxy and Gomez. And, you know, it's just their kind of adventures in this other world. And they're a series of realms, the multiverse. So, you know, they, they might go to the Sea of Sands or they may go to the region of ruins or Carnival City. And, you know, and it's full, full CG, full-blown CG. It's being done by stars. Uh, actually, that's not what they're still called now, but they did Nomeo and Juliet and Tim Burton's Nine. So, you know, sort of the level of animation is movie quality. And, you know, it has a little sort of 3D segment in it as well, each episode. So, you know, it's a really exciting show, and, you know, I'm writing for it. I'm kind of head writer on the show, and I'm, you know, sort of, uh, handling the other writers on the show, you know, getting them up to speed on it and looking at their scripts. So I'm sort of double timing it at the moment on that. And so that's taking up a lot of my time. And, and then, you know, yeah, I'm co-writing, you know, I've been doing a bit of movie co-writing for a while, you know, mostly on spec, but, um, you know, it's building up to now where, you know, me and my co-writer, a guy called Mark Salisbury, who's a film journalist, we actually have a sort of a bona fide commission to go and write a movie, so you know it's very exciting because the person behind it is a big enough name that it you know could well launch our movie writing career. So you know we're very excited about that. Can't talk about it at the moment, mainly because you know again it's possibly person X's announcement to make at some point, and you know these things take time as well, even when we write it you know, it's probably three or four down his slate of movies. So, but, you know, it's very exciting to be doing and, uh, you know, we're very keen to kind of pursue more movie work afterwards.